वेलकम बैक आई बी डिस्कसिंग कपल्स इन दिस वीडियो एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई टॉक अबाउट सम इम्पोर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कपल्स एंड देन वर्कआउट फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स सो लेट्स फर्स्ट डिफाइन अ कपल अ कपल कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ पेयर ऑफ इक्वल पैरल अपोजिटली डायरेक्टेड फोर्सेस एंड देर इज अ डेफिनेट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द लाइन्स ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ द टू फोर्सेज so as you see here in this diagram the planar body is acted upon by two forces each of magnitude f their directions are opposite and there is a distance of d between the lines of action of the two forces couples have a unique property and that is the moment sum of its forces is constant and independent of any moment center and the moment magnitude is equal to fd what it means is that you could take any arbitrary point on the plane say this point find out the moment of this force about this point find the moment of this force about this point and find the net moment the magnitude of that moment will always be equal to f into d the magnitude of the force times the distance between the lines of action of the two forces moment of a couple in fact is a vector and which lies on a axis which is perpendicular to the plane containing the two forces and its direction is governed by the right hand rule and this moment vector is called a free vector free vector in the sense that it is not tied to any particular point on the plane you could move the moment vector to any point on the plane of the couple the vector sum of the two forces is zero this is obvious both the forces have a magnitude of f their directions are opposite so resultant of these two forces is zero and therefore the couple cannot impart any translation motion to this body and the only effect the couple would have on the body is to turn it to rotate it about an axis that is perpendicular to the plane containing the couple there are some other important properties which are quite helpful in solving problems we just learned in the previous slide that moment of a couple is independent of the moment center and therefore the effect of a couple is unchanged if the couple is rotated through any angle in its plane for example in this figure a planar body is acted upon by a couple of magnitude fd and its sense of rotation is clockwise and the forces are parallel to this edge of the body now if the forces are turned through any angle say 90 degrees as shown in this figure the moment of the couple still remains fd and its sense of rotation still is in clockwise direction and therefore the effect of the couple will remain the same the effect of a couple is also unchanged if the couple is shifted to any other position in the plane for example in this figure if the forces are shifted to let's say this edge of the body keeping the distance same and the magnitude same as f and the distance d the moment of the couple still remains fd and its sense of rotation still is clockwise and therefore its effect on the body would remain unaltered the effect of the couple is also unchanged if it is replaced by another pair of forces in its plane whose moment is fd and sense of rotation is same as original for example in this planar body these two forces of 10 newton magnitude form a couple the distance between them is 3 meter so the moment of the couple is counter clockwise and its magnitude is 30 newton meter now if the forces acting on this edge of the body are shifted to another edge of the body keeping the moment of the couple same 
15 times 2 meter is 30 newton meter is the moment of the couple in anti clockwise direction and since these two couples are identical the effect remains unchanged let's take another example in this body a couple of moment 80 newton meter acts in clockwise direction and it is shown acting at point a suppose you are asked to shift the couple to act at point b the question is can you do it the answer is yes you can simply shift the couple to this location without altering the effect because still the effect of the couple is to rotate the body about an axis which is perpendicular to the plane of the body suppose you are also asked to replace this couple by two forces acting at points d and c which are separated by a distance of 2 meter the answer is yes you could do it by applying horizontal forces of 40 newtons like this these two forces in horizontal direction form a couple and since the distance between them is 2 meters the moment of the couple formed is 80 newton meter in clockwise direction and therefore the effect remains unchanged you have to be careful about the direction of the forces that you apply at points d and c so now that we have covered the basic properties of couples let's go ahead and solve few interesting problems